So we just drove six hours. We're almost to the dealership. We're 10 minutes away right now. I wanted to just start this clip right as we're about to get there. I'm very excited. We are bringing a new truck to the channel. I'm buying a new truck, guys. I just sold the F-250 a few days ago. This guy flew in yesterday from South Florida. Just sold it. I'm gonna buy a new truck. We got the 6.7 Mega Cab Cummins here. We got Johnny dipping diesel. And we just sold the Plat Daddy. I know I got a lot to catch you guys up on, on a lot of things, not just the F-250, but the other builds, the classic truck builds. I'll start off with some bad news with an update. Uh, Jimmy's no longer with us. We're gonna go more into that in another video. I don't want to just go down right before we go up. We're excited, this video is exciting. We're getting a new truck for the channel. So I don't wanna just start this thing off with just terrible news. So we'll get into why Jimmy's gone in another video, but great news, Mater is running. And I need to update you guys on Mater. If this video gets 2,500 likes, I will go make a video on Mater running this week. I've already got a video clip of it running, but I haven't released the video yet because I've been so busy. There's a lot of things uh, that I'm gonna get into, but right now we're about to be at the dealership here in a few minutes. Comment down below what truck you guys think that I bought. I bought a new truck. It's a 2021. It's a truck I have said I wanted to get in some videos recently. So you should, you, you guys should know, comment it down below. We're about to be there, get to 2,500 likes and we'll release a video this week of Mater starting up. We'll see you guys when we get to the dealership. Very excited. Promise the kids they can go with me next time. So we got the kids. Promise them they can go with me uh, to buy the next truck when we bought the F-250. And that's what we're doing now. Keep my promises. Y'all excited? You excited, Pepe? Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah, we're going to get daddy a new truck. The six hour drive has been pretty smooth. We haven't really ran into any issues, but hey, the weather's been great. Hopefully the truck is too. I haven't seen it in person yet. I already put a down payment down on it. So hopefully it's, it's really good. They're doing a couple things to it. I actually put a down payment last week. They're doing a few things to it. Um, a leveling kit, some tires and tent. And from what I understand, the tent may not be happening. So we're about to be there and figure that all out, but we'll see you guys when we get to the dealership. Peace. Oh, we're at a Jeep dealership. We're getting a Jeep. Getting a Jeep, boys. No, I'm just kidding. We are at the Ram dealership. You guys might be able to know what kind of truck we're getting. I don't know. Maybe we're getting a car. Maybe we're getting a car. Proceed to the route. Maybe we're getting a Challenger. Who knows? Ooh. We may have just seen the truck, boys, and it <laughs> looks nasty. Yeah, I think you should park up there. Boom, there it is, boys. Fifth gen Ram 21 model. Blacked out Laramie edition. It's got the LED headlights, tail lights. It's got a 360 cam, adaptive cruise. A lot of the Laramies don't come with a 360 cam. This has pretty much got every option that your Limited and your Longhorn would have that I at least would want. They did do like a hockey puck style leveling kit on it. We'll see how it rides. They said they went ahead and tuned the computer and the adaptive cruise should be a camera up there like my f-250 i had a platinum f-250 but this has more features than my platinum did except the steps that don't come down but we did get 35 toyo mts my favorite tire I always run those the truck itself is extremely dirty which i'm not that mad about hopefully the dealership didn't really touch it there are some scratches in it you guys can see those scratches right there. Huh. If we wash this thing off, there's some deep scratches right there. The deep scratch right there. Then this thing's scratched up, man. You guys can see that deep scratch right there. There's scratches all in this thing. Scratch right there, you guys can see. Is it 2021 or is this thing used? I don't know. So far, it ain't looking good, fellas. We got some scratches right here. It's so, so, so dusty and pollen, so much pollen on it. I can't even really get a good inspection of it. There's something wrong with the paint. That's all scratched right there. That doesn't wipe off. It's a bunch of scratches right here. Black scratches, I understand that, but dude, this entire truck is scratched up, man. You see that? Huh. I don't have it even barely, I haven't even looked at the inside yet. 
I may tell them to hose this thing off real quick so I can get a better look at it, but this truck is not looking good. Now that's a that's actual damage right there. That's not just scratches. That's no, this thing's damaged, man. It, it was rubbed up against something. Wow, I haven't even made it 50% around the truck yet. And I'm just doing a quick once over and this thing is beat. Wow. Trying to. If there wasn't so much damage on it, we may buy it, man. Yeah, there's a bunch of, yeah, there's damage all over this thing, man. Take a look at this. So I'm not trying to give these guys a hard time, but they're gonna go rinse it off. And if I'm paying, they want $80,000 for this truck. If I'm paying 80,000, you know, I need a, a decent inspection. So the truck's beautiful from five feet away, but it's got a lot of defects in the paint. So we're gonna get them to spray it off so we can get an actual inspection of it and see how it's actually looking under some good lighting. So, I don't know, boys. We'll see what they wanna do, but there's just a little too much damage on that thing, to be honest with y'all. Some things I didn't get on camera, but we'll look at it here closer in a minute. Now that it's clean, you guys can kind of see a little bit better what I'm talking about. Alrighty guys, well she's all mine. I got the keys. We ended up coming up with a deal that we're all happy with. So there's the new truck, 5th Gen 2021. At the end of the day, they treated me all right, you know. Um, I'm happy with how we ended up, you know, doing the closing deal. But it's got the big screen. We'll do a full walk around. We got proper lighting. 39 miles on it. My F-250 Platinum had seven miles on it, I believe, when we picked it up. They worked with me a little bit. I don't even have to put a light on that for you guys to see. It's all over the truck, though. But like I said, they worked with me on it a little bit. And uh, we're happy with the deal we struck. So we'll get a proper walk around. Maybe we get better lighting. Super stoked about it. Let's get this thing home. Truck looks good going down the road, boys new truck to the fleet gonna so stoked about this truck it looks sweet going down the road got casey driving it right now we're gonna see if we can trade in this explorer so we don't have to drive it all the way back we'll see what the dealership offers for it but the truck looks sweet look at that thing <laughs> we're gonna get tint on the windows you guys already know that it's a fishbowl right now i understand they were supposed to have 10 on it, but they didn't do it like they said they were going to do. So we're going to just get the 10 done ourselves. But it's all right. Truck looks great. Can't wait to get it home. All right, guys. It's been a long day. We came here to look about trading in the Explorer. Truck's looking beautiful. Still got to paint correct it, but it's looking beautiful. And they had a great deal on this 2021 Expedition. We got a killer deal on this expedition. So huge shout out to the Ford dealership in Statesboro, Georgia. They freaking gave us a killer deal on this thing. So we were like, well, heck, we're getting rid of an SUV. We need to find a new one. We were looking at the Tellurides, rides, but this thing is freaking sweet. They just detailed it up and it's looking really good. So. So we're going to take home with us today. There's a salesman in there, but interior is looking really good. Sweet. We're at Chick-fil-A in the morning. And I just want to kind of recap before we get home and do a full inspection. We're probably just going to like press wash this thing down, foam can it, do a real inspection of it. Maybe do a quick walk around and then end out the video once we get to the shop, which a lot of things to update you on the shop. A lot has changed with the shop. A lot has changed with the vehicle situation. It's all for a reason, and I'm not going to get into it in this video, but there is a reason. And I think it goes without saying, to recap the beginning of the video, I think it goes without saying they obviously gave me a deal on this truck for me to walk away with. There was obviously a reason. I was pretty much content with leaving. I gave them my card. I said, let me get my down payment back. And it, I was literally walking out the door because I was so upset 
with how the truck looked and how it was just not ready and just the overall experience there but uh, the general manager I guess came out we talked for a little bit and we came up with a solution that we were both happy with and they helped me out a little bit because of the defects in the paint and it was something it's it's things that I can fix so I don't want anybody watching this video saying oh he just bought a messed up truck and now he's complaining about it and there's obviously a reason if you guys were here and knew the situation you would know there's obviously a reason I'm sitting in this truck with you talking with you right now and that's because we worked a deal we were both happy with and at the end of the day I can get all this stuff fixed myself. I have a shop, I have polishers, I have polish, I have everything already. So we're gonna get this thing polished up, cleaned up, and looking great. We're gonna ceramic coat this truck and have it looking great for a very long time. Alrighty guys, so you're probably wondering how the truck is driving so far. I've got 322 miles on it. We are about two hours or so from the house. So I've driven it a little bit and the interior on this thing is the first thing I'll note that the F-250 I had, the Platinum, just cannot touch this interior. And in 2021, the F-250 interior is still the same. I know they're going to change it for 22 and I'm very excited to see what it ends up like. I do think it probably will beat this truck's interior in 2022 with the F-250s, but as of right now, the Ram is still king and this thing is beautiful on the inside. Another thing I wanted to note the distinct difference is how much better the adaptive cruise control is on this truck than it was on my F-250. Now, the F-250, when you got below 20 miles an hour, it would automatically shut the adaptive cruise control off, which is the green lines right there, and you can adjust it right here. Some Longhorns don't even have the adaptive cruise control. I was shopping for a new truck for weeks, guys, so I learned a lot about packages and what all came in what. This is the I think they call this the level two Laramie package that includes really everything that Ram offers for the most part. There is a couple things it doesn't include, but I, I just love all the options it has. But the adaptive cruise control is a lot better on this truck than the F-250. The F-250 would slow down after 20 and then you would just, it would shut off and then you would have to take back control of the truck. With the Ram, it doesn't do that. The Ram, allows you to get less than 20 miles an hour and it will actually go back all the way up it'll let you come to a complete stop and then go all the way back up to where you were on your highway speeds it's those little things like that that those annoying you keep having to restart in city traffic those are the little things that i think is going to make this truck a lot more enjoyable to have and drive another thing the lane keep assist actually controls the steering wheel on the ram and it does not on the f-250s the f-250 your steering wheel will vibrate and it will kind of say hey wake up you know stay in your lane but on the ram it actually will keep your lane i'm not going to say it's the best technology in the world and that you can just let your hand off the steering wheel but it definitely does keep you in your lane it will turn your steering wheel without you turning it on the ram and that's something the f-250 did not have it goes out saying the uconnect screen is just unbelievable the, it's so quick in between modes and what you want to go through. I don't know when they rolled this out in 2019 if it was as quick as it is now, but it's very user friendly and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. But that's just my quick review on how the truck's driving. It's driving great. I'm loving this thing. I'm absolutely in love with it. My wife's car, she said she's in love with that one too. So it's just a win win. It's been a great trip. We stayed in a hotel for two days. We were initially supposed to stay for one. We stayed an extra day. I'm glad we did it. We got a great deal on the expedition. Now it's ready to get home and get to work. We've got a lot of things we need to do once we get home. We've been out of town for a few days, so it's time to catch up. We'll see you guys when we get there. Peace. finally back to the shop with the 2021 ram 2500 it drove great really happy with it we got dippin diesel behind the camera he's still been making videos for you guys so make sure you're subscribing to his channel he's rebuilding his transmission right now I just his hands got it are put still in dirty. There. he just put it in his hands are literally dirty holding my phone right now but 
the, the truck is looking great other than all the scratches, which we're going to paint correct. I don't know if you guys know, but we do full paint corrections here. We do full ceramic pro coatings. Uh, we got all sorts of polishers. We got every polish you could ever think of. Probably got probably got like $10,000 worth of just polishes and pads and machines, literally. Uh, we're going to throw a Ceramic Pro 9H coating on it. Uh, we got plenty of top coat. We got plenty of 9H right here in the shop. This stuff is three times harder than the clear coat. So what we're going to do in the next video is show you guys when you buy a new truck, if it's black, whether it's a Denali, Ford, Ram, they're all going to be scratched up like this. Maybe not this bad, but in the next video, stay tuned. We're going to show you how to fix what's wrong with it and protect it to where it doesn't happen again. And also show you how to wash it safely. So that's going to be in the next video. This thing is really dirty. We're going to end the video out here so we can get this video up tonight. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Some people on the Instagram kind of know what's going on. And some people in person are in person. I've already seen the truck. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. Shout out to Jonathan behind the camera helping me record this. And... Looking forward to another truck for the channel. Hope you guys are too. 2,500 likes. And we will show you guys a video of Mater starting up this week. 2,500 likes. Let's get to it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. We did get a full, what is it, 30,000 BTU air conditioner in here? Something like that. It's like 30,000 BTU air conditioner in here. All I know is when it's 90 degrees outside, it's 68 in here. And when it's 37 degrees outside, it's like 72 in here. So... This thing has been amazing. It's dead quiet. You can't even hear it. It's an amazing add to the shop, and it keeps it to where it's nice and cool in here to work. But look at that truck. We'll see you guys in the next video. Just wanted to show you. We got AC and we got a driveway. You haven't seen that yet. And we got grates around the entire shop now, foot wide and foot deep grates around the entire shop. So we're good on drainage. We're good on the driveway. We're good on AC. We're good on insulation. Now we just got to work. Oh, we got a new reel from Reelcraft for our pressure washer. Huge reel. I'm going to show you more of this in the next video, but we got a Reelcraft pressure washer reel. Of course, we got the air reel, water reel, electrical cord reels from Reelcraft. Huge shout out to them. They're a freaking awesome company to work with. Best quality reels in the world. Not even close. If you want good reels, check out the link below. I'll put some Reelcraft information, but we're going to get into them in the next video more in depth. Peace, guys. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long.